Good morning, people. Today's walk is four Wainwrights and about 12 miles, six to eight hours. Haven't been out for a good few weeks because the weather's been terrible. Sunny today, but cold. On the higher fells, it's icy. After the last walk where I was saying I wrecked me boots, I ended up getting a new pair. So because I haven't broke the new boots in, I didn't want to do anything massive, as you can see. But I'll tell you what, you can see me car there in the lay-by. Look at them rocks. There is no the path to start, non-existent. We were walking on the path, what it was saying on a GPS, and nothing's there, and two lads were ahead of us, and they've come climbing these rocks as well, and we've had to do the same. And the car's only there, and we've had to come all the way up here. Not really a great start to the walk, but a bit of fun anyway. So probably not the best way to break a brand new pair of boots in that you've worn for 10 minutes. The rock coming up is so slippy here. You can see it's full of moss. Just looking at the GPS, and it actually says we're on the path now, but you tell me, and the two people ahead of us have got the same problem by the look of it. One of those routes where people are just cutting across the land. But yeah, it's fine. We're just taking our time to get up here. The first way right quite close to here, to be honest. Not too far into the walk. So it does actually look like there's a bit of a path here that could run up. We're in a town called Mosdale, and there's not many people up here. These four Wayne rights, I've not seen many people doing these. You can see our kid up there. They climb up the rocks. You can just see the two guys ahead of us going through the rocks. I think we're all suffering with the same problem here. It's non existent, this path. I tell you, this is the strangest start to a walk so far. We'll get there eventually. Just gotta persist. And we have come up quite a bit. You can see the car on the road. The GPS is saying we've got to shoot round up there, past the rocks. Mustn't be well travelled. See the assessment so far? Human. Yeah. <laughs> Rocky Balboa up here. I know we always say it in every walk, but it seems like the people who have come up here have just winged it. To get up to the path, you can see it in the background up there, the actual clear one, but I'm nearly on it. It's a bit boggy at the moment, but I did read that it was boggy in these parts. So we eventually got on the proper path, as you can see here. Nice and straightforward, and we're going up there in the background to Carrick Fell, which will be the first of the day. We're already at about 500 metres now, and the total elevation for this walk is just under a 1,000, I think. So we'll have done a lot of the ascent already, which is a good thing. Some snow on the higher mountains, Blen Catherine in the background with snow on top of it. That was one of the reasons I chose to do lower fells because with the new boots and stuff, I'm terrible for slipping when you're not used to them. But to be fair, they feel good. Just coming up to the summer. Yeah. Them views, man. Carrick Fell, 663 metres. Got skid all covered in snow there, Blencata. See sharp edge poking out. What a day for it, mate. Look at these views, unbelievable. Some of the best I've seen in a long time. Fantastic, man. Amazing views there, man. Got a little shelter there as well. Protect you from the wind. Full of frost. To be honest, it is a bit chilly up here, but once you get walking, it's sand, nice and warm. But yeah, you can see, yeah, cairns full of frost, man. But yeah, our next one's over there in the distance. That little crest there, not the first one. The second one, you see a piece of metal sticking out the ground of an old fence. 
and then it just drops down and everyone and the best thing about that is you can come up that ridge line here over little man and actually when you come to the top yeah you can either go down towards like bash and wait and all that or keswick and that or you can loop around you can come under skiddle and then back up and on around little man it's another path and it just adds a bit more no rather than going there and coming back some fantastic views on this one look at that that's not too bad either, bit bit muddy, but it's quite uh, firm, so not going down big holes. And it's just good to get out in the sun again, man, not in the rain. I think that Carrick Fell's up there with my favourite ones, to be honest. Just a nice cairn and the views are fantastic, man. Wasn't. Good one to start the day. And looking at the map, there was loads of easy paths up here. It's just that obviously that one starts at the roadside and it's a circular, so... You could easily come a better way than that, nice easy one. There was a nice few routes coming up here. Definitely spoke too soon about the bogs there. Horrendous, mate. Go, 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 go. I'll avoid, I might avoid that. Looks like trampoline. Oh well, the new boots are gonna get tested out anyway. And we are back on the path. So we're just coming to a crossroads. We are going to be going left in a minute, but our next rain right up there. Quite a few people up there, actually. Fairly popular route, to be honest. I didn't think there'd be many up here, but there is. There's about six people on a summit and we've seen loads of fell runners up here wind's starting to pick up now as well you can feel it chilling here since that sun's running behind the clouds me forearms and me hands man I can barely feel them gonna have to wrap up again by the looks of it might look good but it's freezing now Oh yeah, the storm with the bench. Nice bit of slate. That's been good company. Hello, mate. Fifty-eight meters. Sweet that little bench there. Ball for that one. Past the uh, the can, isn't it? Yeah. Little shelter over there in the background. That's where we came from. Stuff for long on the summit there, absolutely freezing. It did say the gusts were up to 40 mile an hour today, and with a t shirt on, I, my god, I, I couldn't even open my bag to get my coat on. So we're just walking with sandwiches now. But I got speaking to the lady and the guy up there then, and he was saying there's a, a pub, I'm not sure where, where it was, but just down behind the mountain down there. And he said, there's a thing called the Old Crown Round. And he said, if you do walk all the mountains here in a day or something, uh, 20 miles, the pub gives you a free pint. I told him we were doing the Wayne right, and he said, you should do the Old Crown Round. I'll check that out. And I'm saying it now so I actually remember when I get home because I'll, I'll have forgot by the time I get back, but sounds like a good laugh. On to the next one, which is called Knot. And it's up over to the right. But a fairly good walk this and another thing that guy said that when we started Mosedale he said there's basically no path he said he's done it a few times and he said you're not the only one with the rocks he said nightmare and there's not actually an official path so that was the correct way to smut on it looks like a little pen there 
Made a bit of a silly mistake there. We were up, up over there before and <laughs> started to follow on a quad track, just minding our own business, chatting away, and it ends us up in the middle of nowhere. We should have went up and over there, cross up to there, that's where Knot is, just over that ridge. We followed a quad track and ended up by some mines over there and a river, and now we're trudging through. Now we're having to trudge through some marshland to get back onto the route, so bit of an error on my part but it happens you know if you don't keep an eye on the gps and you don't know the area you can get caught out a lot but we'll correct it in a minute one of those things in it over there in the distance you can see a few people i just checked the coordinates and great scar fellas over there which is a way right i haven't done that's how much we've veered off but is what it is in it you can only correct your mistakes Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Here, yeah. Not 710 meters. That was a big mistake on my part there, so we could have come just not over this nice little path here. And I sent us over there. <laughs> so sometimes try not to be a smart ass and try and cut the route out, but it is what it is. We'll have to stay on the route now for the next one. But that's three down, one more to go. Look how good the views are, skid all looks unreal. Got Bass and Wait over there, you can see just over the hill and then just on the coast. Bit of a view of the sea. So our last one of the day is gonna be Great Calvert, the Fort Wayne right. Just speaking to a guy on the summer and not then. He's just come from there and he said, it's that one straight ahead of us, just here. Got a big drop off coming up here. Big descent. And up you can see the path veering to the left up to Great Calver. With it being the last one of the day, you're not too bothered. Tell you though, mate, my legs are toast here. Not feeling it today. Tired. The other two are go going well as well. I've had to drop back for a bit. Energy's just not there today. I think the bog sucks it out of you. I can see the summit now coming over the hill. I can see it there. There's a few, quite a few people on it by the looks of it. There's another train of people. Not sure where I've come from. Over them way somewhere over the fence. Seems like a popular mountain this one. tough man but we're here last one of the day got some the views again it's good though loads of people up here good summer actually right. sure it's over by the dodge he said uh, no one really quite knows quite mysterious but he's saying that but he's just got more benches on it so. see you later see you mate I had a good little chat there with the walking group. The guy who was speaking to was saying he runs a walking group from Carlisle, about 30 minutes from here. And you know what? Just good to see older people out in groups, man, getting stuff done. 
where we're from mate sometimes like people think this is mad that you come in a lake so every weekend and doing stuff but I admire that type of stuff, man. We were buzzing then, talking to him. Proper down to a fella, and he was only charging about eight quid to get a coach here, which is a bargain, man. But yeah, good to see like-minded people out there. We've just come from the top of the fence line. Got a big descent down. And it looks on the map as if we're going to go round the hill there. I don't know if you can see this path. Look at this. <laughs> looks like someone sims a path, and all three of us just fell walking down it. Like Slipped on our backs. The mud's so slippy underfoot. And we've all went. Our kids just been oh as you can see <laughs> our kids just been lying in the grass and then I've just went. Some suspicious characters. Stay with the ear lads just sitting off. Nice little stream at the bottom down here. Just gonna grab some lunch here. Starving man, I haven't had nothing all day. We've done about three quarters of walks, not far back, but we're on ground level anyway, pretty much. So most of the descent's done. I was proper chilled out, that man buzzing. But we're gonna crack on now. Reckons we've got about 150 back to the car. Hey, this is going to me. Turn left onto the bridge. <laughs> Nice one. A little build near with no roof on it. Worth a look. Throw a tarp across the roof and camp in there. Yeah, it's got a proper gate. It's like the more man that is in here. Oh, make that tarp up all day. Yeah, it's just to put something animals or something in. That'd be a sweet wild camp, man, if you had an air tarp. Got a brand new gate on it. If you're wondering why it's called the back of Blencadre, you can just see it poking through up there. Just look, we've got about two, three miles back to the car, and we're just hoping we don't have to descend again, man. So the path's been literally just the flat, flattest path I've ever been on for the last probably 45, 50 minutes since we last had our lunch, just a nice flat road and there is a car parked up on the right, the distance there. So by the looks of it, you must be able to drive up here, but I think this is it all the way down to the car from now. But um, we've got to pass some old mines. There's quite a few mines, what I could see on the map. I was reading about them in the Wainwright book. Not the Probably. Yeah. It's only small, lad. It's a shed. Come on, man. There's actually a car park coming up on the right down there. And we've just been looking on the map. There's a bothy in between the hills here. We'll probably just drive up this road one time and then revisit this. Maybe camp the bothy on. Definitely check out the mines, but that'll be in another video in the future.
absolutely gutted they didn't bring me swimmers man that is the spot to go in the water's so deep you've got a little platform to jump in and you've got a car park right behind you what a gaff this is man absolutely sick this one the best place i've been in the lakes look at that What a gaff, man, what a gaff. Boss here. That's well for deep, though. Have you joined What the hell is that? See a little house through the trees, what a place, man, to live. Ridiculous. What a place to live, man. Fantastic. Oh yeah, there's another property here. Tell you what, this place always surprises me. The one good thing about doing these 36 walks is the things you see. Like I've seen most areas of lakes now. And some, unless if you're going for the most touristy ones, the normal ones, mate, you don't see anything. Like, look at that. Imagine, imagine living around here. Honestly, man, I've not seen many better places in the lakes than this. Best house you'll ever see, that, mate. Little footy pitch in the back and that. Ridiculous. I need to take a photo of where we are. I know this red telephone box bang. Turn right. Turn. Continue straight from Yeah, sweet dog. Talk about my dog's head just sticking up. Wait. <laughs> it's Kevin. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Kevin in the t in the rocks. Just getting back to the car, and you can see here two people going bouldering. <laughs> and that's the way we walked this morning. But that guy did say that was the way up, so who knows? Right, people, back at Blancata. So, this is the map on the Stuart Marshall 36 walks. You can see here the guy had said park around this area in the town, but it's not the best parking place even being on us, so we decided after looking at the night before to park on the roadside here and this is where I parked right there against the wall so as you can see when you zoom in there's actually a lay by just right here next to the wall and the guy had said that you need to go up here past the rocks to get onto the path it's just boulders everywhere as you can see on the video and um just got to be careful but it does eventually join back onto the path it just takes a while to navigate and you know if you're not great on rocks just be careful i'll show you my actual map that i recorded so here's my actual recorded map just a quick one so i've been using the app view ranger for the past few years and this company called outdoor active bought them out and took over their app so view ranger doesn't exist anymore and we were basically forced to move over to this outdoor active as all the tracks we'd saved and stuff were transferred over to this new app so this has took a while to get used to and still trying to learn it so as you can see when i'm zooming in we did actually park here but i started the route there because we were a bit confused where we were going you can see here we were just f trying to find the route and the area with the rocks is called chapel stones as you can see here it is fairly easy to navigate, but you just got to take your time and just use your common sense, to be fair. But as I said before, you could have theoretically just parked here and just took this path up onto our path. I don't know why you didn't originally go to that route, to be honest. But anyway, you do join the main path later on. And this is nice and straightforward up to Carrickfella first one. And you're seeing the views absolutely fantastic up there. On a good day, you see everything. She blink after the skid all the lot, man. Absolutely brilliant up there. After Carrick Fell, you make your way towards High Pike, which is the next wine, right? 
and it's all good through here for a while and then you come through and there is a lot of bog so just take your time through there and be careful where you're walking. High Pike, you know, the Great Fell, the cairn as you could see had a plaque on the top of it and there's a bench that people sit at. Brilliant fell that mate. As I mentioned in the video you'd have to go up and come back on yourself to join back on on the way towards Knot. The bit where I said I'd made a mistake and took us the wrong way, we went straight off the path around this area. We should have ran down this path and as you can see the dotted line that would have took us up to it. Basically we just cut across the land here which weren't the best idea but it did get us there and, and eventually we found a path here not far from Great Scarfell actually up to not and ended up just correcting our mistake but yeah that was a mistake on my part to be honest not again another fantastic fell you drop a couple of hundred meters in descent on the way to Great Calver around this area bit boggy in that area again but the paths up to it are fairly straightforward you can't miss them to be honest Great Calver is quite an interesting fell You've got views of Skidor in the distance, absolutely fantastic man. And coming off here, down through here, down to the stream, as you've seen on the video, it's a bit dicey so just be careful heading down as we all fell on our backsides a good few times. This river, great little spot for lunch, definitely recommend keeping your lunch till that point. Just chill out man, have a look around the river, brilliant. And basically yeah, Nice easy walk back to the car, down part of the Cumbria Way, just flat all the way basically, before you turn off. Great parking spot here, loads of spots to go swimming actually, brilliant place mate. Actually one of my favourite parts of the lakes this now. Just nice and straightforward, back to your car. So the body I mentioned, Great Lingy Hutters here, you basically pass it on the way to the third way in right hand. We just missed it to be honest, didn't notice it, but we could see it from the riverside. And my brother actually went back a week later to, to check it out and said it was brilliant inside. And we would like to go back and check that out one time. The mines are all here. And he did say that you couldn't get in the mines as they've been blocked off. It's worth driving up and camping by the river if you want, or even in a, if you've got a camper van, absolutely spot on area, man. Easily one of my favourite parts of the lakes. So as you can see here, the stats from the walk ended up being 13.7 mile and took us 7 hours and 9 minutes. Definitely one of my favourite Wayne Wright bagging routes so far, this one. If you're looking on doing it, just be careful with the rock section and just take your time. Absolutely amazing route. Try and do it in clear weather and some of the views you get are absolutely fantastic. Definitely recommend it. As always, everything will be linked in the description. If you like the video, people, please like, subscribe and comment. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, people.